Hello all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about a regular expression and how to write regular expression for the following languages. These questions I have taken from the model question paper. I have combined all the questions and written here. I am going to provide you the solutions now. Define a regular expression. This definition already I have discussed in one of my previous videos. That link I will give in the description box. You please refer to it. Straight away we start writing the regular expression for the given language. So the first question goes like this. Strings of A's and B's having odd length. Okay, before finding the solution for this, I just remind you. Uh, regular expression use only three operators. One is union. This union can be given by plus symbol also. And concatenation operator which is given by the dot operator. Union dot and then we have the clean star operator it means zero or more only three operators we have union in place of union you can use plus dot and then star using these three operators only we write a regular expression so let us get back to this question strings of a's and b's having odd length so sigma is equal to a and b here so a union b is a regular expression which provides string of length 1 either a or b if i concatenate one more a union b now put together it is producing strings of a's and b's of length 2 if i put whole star it will produce strings of a's and b's of length 2 and multiples of 2 but we want strings of a's and b's having odd length so concatenate this entire regular expression by a r b instead of union we can uh, represent it by plus operator also in the sense you can write the regular expression like this a plus b dot a plus b the whole star followed by a plus b that's it any one form you can write now we move on to the second question the second question question seems to be bigger but uh, answer is uh, very simple strings of a's and b's again such that third symbol from the right is a and the fourth symbol from the right is b so from the right we start writing the regular expression in the right the last symbol can be either a or b from the last or from the right the second one is again either a or b and it is told that from the right the third symbol is a from the right the fourth symbol is b so i have written as it is again further we can have any length of a's and b's that's all this is a regular expression for this problem let's move on to the next question l is equal to a power 2n b power 2m such that n is greater than or equal to 0 m is greater than or equal to 0 so it is nothing but the pattern says that sequence of a's followed by sequence of b's what is the sequence of a's it is nothing but uh, uh length of so the pattern says that even number of a's followed by even number of b's so how would we write that this is 2a to generate even number of a's put whole star this will produce a length of 2 and multiple of 2 followed by even number of b's that's it this is a solution for this language let's move on to the fourth one in the fourth question, the given language says that it contains set of strings of A's and B's again. And length of every string is divisible by 3. Of course, the length of the string must be uh, 3 and multiples of 3. So, this is also very quite simple. This A union B generates string of length 1. If you concatenate further by A union B, as of now it generates string of length 2. Till this it generates string of length 3. Put a whole star. It will generate string of length 3 and multiples of 3. That's it. Let's come to the last question. Strings of zeros and 1s containing at least one pair of consecutive zeros. So how do I write it? There is compulsory at least one pair of consecutive zeros in every string. So, it might be preceded by 0 union 1, the whole star. 
it might be succeeded by 0 union 1 the whole star I put a whole star in order to confirm that there is not only one pair there is more than one pair of this consecutive zeros because the question says that at least one pair of consecutive zeros so without this star it confirms there is one pair of consecutive zero if you put one a uh, whole star it says that there is more than one pair of consecutive zeros okay that's all uh, one more thing i want to tell you that there are different way of writing the regular expression if you have a better pattern of describing these languages with regular expressions please discuss in the comment section and my statistic says that many of you have not subscribed to my channel but keep watching please do subscribe like and comment for the solutions thank you